I'm pleased to present Sheikh Yahya Ali Omar, visiting here today from the University of London. Sheikh Yahya comes from Mombasa, Kenya, and has a diploma in Oriental and African Studies from the University of London, where he is now a research assistant in Swahili. Sheikh Yahya has been studying Swahili gestures as an important part of communicating in the Swahili language and is about to present to us today these gestures for our benefit for use in various Swahili classes. Sheikh Yahya. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Nikiwa mtu asema neno na nyinyi mkaa watu wawili watatu. If you're sitting with basi neno asema no liona kwa ndio upuzi. Utamwangalia yule mtu mwingine yule. Umambie kwa kuonesha kwa huyu wa semae, usikubali manino yake ambazimu, manino yake nye upuzi. Ikiwa masala mtu alikuja, haka kopa pesa kwako kidogo, haka sema, sasa hivi nitakuletea, and says, I'll bring it back in just two or three days. But then something like three months goes by, and the person has returned to the night. You can explain this situation with the following gesture, saying, Tongo, and pulling down in your eye, to indicate, I should be blind if I were to tell you that he returned the money to me. Hakutukua kitu na siye ya lekitua, kitu kimpotea, lakini siye ya lekitua. Na wene sasa wa watu shahidi kuwa wewe, umuona kuwa alikitua. Someone stole something from you, and you saw them do it, but you accused them and they say, no, you do this gesture saying, I saw you with my own eye. Ikiwa mahali wa sikia harufu mbibu, if you're in a certain place and you get a terrible smell, you can put your hand to your nose and make this gesture and say, Kuvundra Salala, what a horrible smell. If you're in a certain place and you get a terrible smell, you can put your hand to your nose and make this gesture and say, Kuvundra Salala, what a horrible smell. Ikiwa watu habari kuwa masalan mtu wadi kwa unai kuwa na ikiwa mtu two brothers and some food has been kept for them. But one of them comes from school first and eats all the food, leaving none for his companion. Lakini e manziwe hako akakila asimsazi ata kidogo. Then you can do the following gesture. And say, Ankila Fu. He ate the whole thing. He didn't leave any. Ikiwa mtu ataka kitu kwako, na mewe hutaki kumpa kabisa. If somebody is begging something from you, and you probably don't like the person, and you don't want to give that person anything, Maisha yako hukipati kitu hiki. Hata kilogo. Utamwambia. Then you can tell that person, ngo. Ukipati, ngo. I'm not going to give you any. Au tasema, ngo, ngo. Or you can say, ngo, ngo. Ukipati, hata kilogo. You're not going to get any at all. Ikiwa umfanya jambo. If you were supposed to do something in order to get something else, there was something that you required and you didn't do it. And you didn't do it. And now you can't have the thing you wanted. Or you couldn't have the thing you wanted. Or if you didn't do something. Or if you didn't do something. Or if you didn't do something. Hendi mwendo upendao wewe, uonao kwa mbasawa. Suppose you have a child or a handyman or someone that you love and you've sent the person to school and you've paid their school fees 
and you've done a lot of things to really help the person out. But what happens is the person is running around with vagabonds. You can say, that's your choice. But here, I send you to school and I pay your fees and, just, and I buy your books and look at you. You should be reading. You should be getting ready to get work, but you're just going to this movie, so you're running around to express this disappointment. Then you say hiki changu and do this gesture. Or you can do it in a longer way and say, go ahead and shave me. It's like shaving me with cut glass. Or shaving me with the urine of a donkey. And now I'm tired of explaining these things. To indicate this, I say I'm tired of... Off. Off. 